This is not the man I met. He is egotistical. He disrespects me. This entire marriage has been forced upon me. When you don't have trust, when you don't have that foundation, the relationship is over before it starts. I'm at my breaking point. He has a problem with spending. You have champagne taste on a soda water budget. Yes, What's honey, going on? come on, champagne taste. <laughs> it's about the taste, not about the budget. You can't trust him anymore. The man that I married would never have done that. I'm not going to advise her to try to make this work because I think it's dangerous. I think it's gone beyond that. Here is today's case. This wife found explicit text messages, a compromising voicemail, and has reasons to believe her wife is using her. She says divorce is knocking on their door. Can their marriage be saved? Or is this the end of a four-year partnership? That's today's case on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, our virtual audience is filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Diana from Los Angeles, California. Diana, welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you with us. Enjoy. Your Honor, this is the case of Edwards versus Edwards. Thank you, Juan. Miss Pam Edwards. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought your wife, Miss Lauren Edwards. Yes, Your Honor. To Divorce Court today. I understand the two of you have been married for four years, but you are now ready to call it quits and move on if you don't see some serious changes That's and get right. clarity That's right. on the status of your relationship. Yes, Your Honor. And you believe, ma'am, that the relationship can be salvaged, yes. but you say you also have issues you'd like to see resolved. Yes, correct. Okay, we'll start with you, Ms. Edwards. Give me some background. Yeah, my wife, she's a real big bishop liar, you know? She just can't tell the truth, you know, and that bothers me a lot, and I can't move forward like this, mm -hmm. especially in a marriage when, you know, you're breaking up our family. Hmm. What do you have to say about that, ma'am? I know how to own up when I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. um, as far as just completely being a liar, I don't know what, where she gets that from. What? Um, have you been telling the truth in your marriage? No, it's been incidents. I have lied, mm -hmm. and it's damned if I do, damned if I don't kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, if I tell her, it's still repercussions. If I don't tell her, it's repercussions. Mm -hmm. Loyalty is everything with me, mm -hmm. and honesty is everything with me. And she knows that from the first day we started this relationship, that's all I talk about, love, loyalty, respect. Mm -hmm. And how did you meet, and how did the relationship start? Well, we met working at the elementary school. So we were both volunteers there. We've been together for seven years, been married for four years, would have made it this November. And um, it was a situation at their house, and she had to leave. Hmm. Me being a good friend of hers, I let her move in with me. I didn't know she liked me. I was just being a good friend, helping her. And next thing you know, okay, we hit it off. I gave her a chance, let's make it happen, whatever. And things were great. I started teaching her everything that I know, you know, how to get through life, you know, how to be positive, and, you know, because I had to change my life, mm -hmm. you know, and um, everything was good. You said about a year ago, things started going bad when she started receiving some text messages. Yeah, she started receiving text messages from her ex, you know, and he would say, like, you know, he missed having sex with her, you know, um, and he would tell me, like, yeah, she's coming to see me. She drive a white van, and at that time, she drove a white van. You know, and I knew that in my heart, I kept saying, this dude not lying, he not lying, but he's, I'm getting angry yes, at him. Yes, mm -hmm. And then I'm like, well, look, Lauren, he's telling me all of this, and, you know, I'm reading the messages, you know, I'm getting fired up, furious. And then she was responding? I don't know. He was telling me everything that was going on. Okay. You know, I was in the blind of all of this. I didn't know she was going to see him. I didn't know that she, that she was talking to him on the phone, nor texting. Okay. I didn't know any of it. And this was just last year, three years into your marriage? Yeah. I drove a company vehicle. And I drove around in the same city my ex was in. He still has feelings for me, mm -hmm. and he would tell her anything to make us break up she so he can say. have his opportunity. Mm. I don't want my ex, nothing to do with my mm -hmm. ex. My wife still gives me butterflies, and you gotta excuse me. When I see her here, it, it brings something up. She's untrusting as well. Well, let's talk about this, because you said that you had a conversation with God. Yes. And you saw these messages. Yes, I feel like it was from the man. He says, check the phone bill. She's not being truthful to you. She is lying about something. But well, did God tell you what you gonna find? Man, he said she's cheating with this man again. So I checked the bill. His number is down the line, you know? And they're talking for hours and, you know, time. And I'm like, really? So yeah, I get at her like, hey, what's up? You know, uh, why are you on the phone talking to him like that? I thought you said that he wanted you back, but you had no interest. I don't. We, we... Was you on the phone for hours? Yeah, we were good friends. That's almost like my best friend. Really? That's your be who your best friend? Al almost, excuse me. 
Ma'am? In the past, we went through a lot together. So we have a certain connection that we still... It's nothing sexual. It's never been. What he thinks is what he thinks. But your wife wasn't aware that your ex was your best friend? Thank you, Your Honor. She's a jealous type. So for me to say a best friend, that, yeah, you see it struck a chord just mm -hmm. like that. Miss okay. Edwards? Yes, 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 yes. You said that two weeks ago... Yes. ...was the final straw for you. She was always lying to me, getting on my nerve, you know what I mean, pushing me to my buttons, to my limits. So it came to a point to where I'm like, okay, I need to cut her off, not talk to her no more. Mm. That's what works for me. I do meditation and sound healing to keep me calm so I don't have to be Since all rawed up, right? So mm. she called me. I pushed the button, sent her the voicemail. Some say... Check your voicemail. I check my voicemail. It's her on there. She wants to add her boyfriend to something. <laughs> what? Um, she, first, I hear in the background, she said, I need your information. Then she goes, well, yeah, um, hi, I would like to add my boyfriend. And whoever on this... the phone says, what do you mean? And she says, uh, my boyfriend, will that be a problem? <laughs> Just like that. She has a Sesame Street Who's your imagination. Boyfriend? I, do? I don't have a boyfriend. Okay. I don't have a boyfriend. Wait, the well, recording. I was ordering food with a family member and... The title of my family member's friend was Boyfriend. That's what I called him. And she, that's what she heard. We're ordering food. They were going to pay separate. I was going to pay... I said, no, I'm going to pay for everything. At my boyfriend, at my boyfriend, talking to the lady behind the counter as a joke. So, so you were with your relative yes. and their significant other. Yes. So when you said, at my boyfriend, that was a joke, referring to, to your family, family members. members? Right. Okay. Right. Let me hear the voicemail. I want to add my boyfriend. Is that okay? Is that okay? Huh? My boyfriend, yes. Hmm. She was either adding him to some car insurance to the car that I bought her. There's she could have been adding him to a phone line. Mm. I don't know. And I did nothing. Nothing of that sort. I don't know, because it did, didn't sound like a joke to me. It didn't no, sound was... like there was anything funny happening. We were having... Actually, I called her. It wasn't an accidental dial. I was actually oh, trying to Oh, that happens all the time. Her. I ex reached out to her. I want to be back with you. Who doesn't want to be with me? Look at me. <laughs> He's in jail. He got all of this fantasy or whatever. Say what you want to say. You're saying that that was just banter of someone I who couldn't do anything about it. I let him say think whatever okay. he want to think while he's up in there. If that's going to satisfy and float his Here boat, let it go. One day, she called me on the phone, right? She goes, well, what are we doing here? What are we doing? So I'm like, well, what do you mean what we're doing? I said, I guess we're not doing anything. I'm gonna come by there and pick up my stuff. You know what I mean? When I get there, she got my clothes on the kitchen counter ready to, for me to go out the door. I didn't even step foot in the house. You know, I had to grab my stuff, you know, and I went and put it in the truck. My air conditioners. I let her borrow two air conditioners, Katie. you know? First, she was like, well, why are you gonna take the air conditioners? You got central air at your house. I'm like, so what? You and your boyfriend is not finna be comfortable <laughs> up under my air on my expenses. And she came out, she finally brought it out, made a big issue about it, but I didn't care. So the two of you are separated now? Yes, she's in separately. her own place, I'm in mine. She needs to learn how to pay bills, be responsible on her own. But we're still married. I don't married. care who she doing it with. We're still, we're still married. married now. We're still married. Oh. Right now. I heard that. I mean, like, like that small, though. Mm, okay, I heard that. Ms. Edwards, is the boyfriend still in the picture There's at all? There's no boyfriend. It was never a boyfriend. The best friend. Didn't There's she just no call best... him a best friend? There's no best friend, no okay. boyfriend, no. You said that you've had some issues of your own in the marriage. Yes. An ex of hers reached out to her, and it was just open conversations. Whenever he wanted to call, he could call. Mm -hmm. Conversations even came up. Um, I want to be back with you. Who doesn't want to be with me? Look at me. <laughs> Whew. That, those conversations were never shut down. It was never, I'm married, I have a wife, we have a family. It was when I approached her with it, oh, I'm just letting him talk. This is something he... He's he in jail. Said. That's a jailhouse talk. <laughs> and if somebody's in jail, that's how they talk, okay? That doesn't I, look, make it I had okay? a one-time thing with this man. I'm a woman. <laughs> I'm entitled to that, okay? Now, he's in jail. He got all of this fantasy or whatever. Say what you want to say. I want you to come home and take care of yours. Mm. That's what I want. At the expense mm. of not... You ain't been paying for nothing. I took care of you and yours. Oh, I paid. Hello? I paid. Oh. So you were upset because yes. she wasn't shutting it down, yes. saying I'm married, whatever, and you're saying that that was just banter of someone I who let couldn't him do say anything and about think it. Whatever okay. he want to think while he's up in there, if that's gonna satisfy and float his Here boat, let just... it go. I give to. We had a graduation. Our kids. Mm -hmm. We were 
apart, I asked her, let's go to the graduation for our kids. Mm -hmm. Let them see us. We did this. So she sits on the other side with her ex. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sitting with my family looking. It hurts me. This is my wife. Mm -hmm. I have to see this, this guy that well, I want my family to get. Same person. Together now at the graduation. Now you're sitting at a graduation. Why weren't you sitting with her? She didn't want to sit with me. Somebody that caused all this drama in my marriage, somebody that kept texting me, telling me that he won't my wife, you know, that somebody that's texting me, telling me that she's spending time with him, I'd be a fool, girl. But you weren't shutting it down on your end either. I was not entertaining him. That's the thing. She's going to say that because she's guilty right now. I'm going to let her speak it. Go ahead, feel free. I'm going to let her out of fun. No, you say you, you never shut it down. I mean, no, but what she's saying wasn't true. But we're still married. You met somebody else? After you get a voicemail talking about a boyfriend, no, no. I'm going to tell no. her whatever it is she needs to hear. You say you're talking to someone else already. We just separated, so this mm -hmm. was planned, so you can be with her. I was crushed. Seven years of taking care of her and you cheating on me with men? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Let's go to an email. My phone was on her bill. She took mm -hmm. the phone, so I had no way to contact her. I reached out to her email. Hey, when, you know, let's sit down, let's have a talk. Mm -hmm. Let's just try to get through this. I want to talk to you. So that was a couple of responses, and then I'm gonna wanna talk. So finally it comes down to I'm pursuing someone, I'm giving her a chance. Oh. She cares about me and my health. It's disrespectful for me to be here talking to you mm -hmm. as if she was sitting next to the woman mm -hmm. emailing me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm crushed. Again, my next message is we're still married. You met somebody else? No. <laughs> After you get a voicemail talking about a boyfriend, no, no. I'm gonna tell no. her whatever it is she needs to hear. You kind of see what I'm saying? There is no other woman. You just because making it up. her feelings need to be hurt like mine hurt. Well, no, I, I thought you said God told you to look through the phone bill, so yeah. you obviously have a relationship with God. So is God yeah, telling you to but seek still, revenge? I wanted her to That's hurt how I was feeling. Really? That, really? Honestly, truthfully. Let me see the messages. She needs to feel it. This was before she got that voicemail, why she wants to hurt me. Oh, before you say, before the voicemail. Yeah, yes. Okay, whatever I just want to talk say. to you, if that's okay. I'm cool on talking to you. I'm not ready to talk to you. I need time. Just continue doing you. I wish you the best. Uh -huh. And then you respond. You say, I'm already talking to someone, yep. and I really want to give her a chance to see where this goes. Mm -hmm. I want to be happy, and I deserve to be happy. She cares for my health and me. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I was crushed. Seven years of taking care of her, and you cheating on me with men? No. Guess what? I'm not playing them games. I don't slip and trip on a... Uh, you know what I'm trying to say? You respond and you say you're talking to someone else already. We just separated, so this mm -hmm. was planned, so you can be with her. Mm -hmm. And you say you're going to find out who she is. Mm -hmm. That's all she talk about, finding people, trying to fight them. When she's not a fighter, she ain't going to put her fists up to nothing. It's how much I care about my wife. All she's going to do is cry. Mm -hmm. I want to be and make this work. You're really wife. upset. You're really angry. I am angry. Seven years. You know how much money I done spent? Why are you so angry? You said you meditate. Yeah. You have these conversations with God? Yeah. Why have you let this resentment and anger build? Because I just feel like I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money. I got to deal with a grown woman who don't know how to tell the truth. We're in an apartment. The girl can't keep a job. Ooh. She get a job and she just keep quitting because she knows that I'm going to pay for everything. I'm buying Not her true. designer clothes. True, I'm giving her money. Th you know, the car she drives now, who bought it? I she bought it. You kind of see what I'm saying? Like, I do everything and that's the problem. I spoiled her and now I'm suffering for it. Mm. I'm tired. I need her to really get it together. She <laughs> didn't have good jobs and just... Oh, I can't take it no more. No, no, no. I can't. Look, she worked at the casino. She complained about working there. there you know, it was unsafe for her health. Mm -hmm. You know, she worked night shifts like that, driving mm -hmm. late at night. So, of course, yeah, okay, let it go. I would tell her, all right, let it go. I'll cover everything. Bam, she'll pick up another job. Bam, oh, I can't take it no more. And then quit. Now, who's got to pay the rent? Me? I got children. No, and they got to eat. Why have you been quitting all these jobs? Because any job I've, I've had and I'm building and working on myself, it comes down to, oh, no, Quit. And it may be wearing it. So she's be tired, telling you she's to quit? Stuck, like she said, quit. I'll take care of everything. But then it turns around, mm. oh, I'm paying for everything. Wow. wow. And I've always kept, I've helped with bills. I, I, she, I'm not going to let her sit here and just. Let me tell you the two of you something. 
I asked you this question about your employment history and why you've been leaving all these jobs. The two of you give completely different answers. Your Honor, she's not being honest. You're living in completely different realities. She's not being honest. And and if that's true, you have stood in this courtroom today Mm -hmm. and everything that she said is a lie or misconstrued or a partial version of the truth, Mm -hmm. then you're alleging that someone's pretty pathological. Yeah. I'm on truth, though. I ain't, I'm nothing but the truth. Ms. Edwards, I have to say, the voicemail was very telling. Why are you upset and crying? Because the way that she's sitting here putting me down, mm-hmm. is it's hard to stand here and hear, and it's not the truth. She's not just, oh, I'm 100 true. I'm the truth. She's well, a... it's, it's her truth, and that's and, what she's saying today. And, and you came true. today to speak your truth. Yes. And from everything I've heard, no matter what has happened between the two of you, what I know for sure is the trust has been broken. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can't build from a foundation where there is no trust. That's right. I agree. And you say it's not true, this, that, but now you're at this point, that's the way she feels. And I see a lack of trust, and I see a lack of respect. Yeah. You know, you've given me these answers about these jobs and the problems and the issues that you've had. Whatever it is, it's brought you to this point. You don't have children together, and I know that the two of you built a life and you connected with your families together. But when you stand before me today and I see so much anger, it's not healthy. It's not. And when I see so much resentment, it's not healthy. You can never have a relationship that's healthy when you don't bring a healthy person into the relationship. That's true. That's true. So where you are now, you got some work to do. Yes. I on agree. yourself. I agree. Before you can ever reconcile in this relationship, if you ever choose to, but in any relationship. Right. Because of what you've let build up over time. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something. When you get caught in lies, no matter how little it is, then a person may wonder, what else are you not telling the truth about? So the little lies make you question the bigger the ones. The bigger ones. People will try to start using one lie to cover another lie, That's and right. then it builds, and then everything unravels. That's right. I wish the two of you going forward, even in the dissolution of the marriage... I am. I wish you... Is that your choice today? I'm going to file for a divorce Monday morning. I cannot take no more. Okay. She has took me to my last straw. Okay. This is it. Either we can have a friendship after. If not, I don't even really care for that. All I wanted her to do is tell the truth, be honest, be real with me, and we could have moved forward. But, okay. but I, I'm, I'm not going to get that out of her, you know? Okay. All I'm going to get is just what I, what I just got right now. I just at least thought she was going to sit there and tell the truth Mm -hmm. and admit her faults. Mm -hmm. If she admit her faults, I will stick with my wife. Mm -hmm. I'll work it out. Mm -hmm. My wife won't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going for a divorce Monday morning. Because what you said in your papers, you said you can't ask anyone to change when they don't see an issue with their actions. That's right. That's the truth. Yes, ma'am. That's her decision. I wish the both of you well and good luck in your future. Thank you, Judge Faith. I'm satisfied with the judge's decision and I'm going to file for a divorce Monday morning. I I can't take it. If she wants a divorce, I mean, um, it hurts. It hurts because I'm still in love with my wife. Once a liar, always a liar. This is how I'm looking at it. I can't, no. When Judge Faith did state the smaller lies does go into bigger, it hit home when she said that. And I was total agreement with her Uh, But it is something I can change. This is what I get. Keep your money to yourself. I don't want a divorce. I do still love you. I do want to try to work it out. Um, But I do wish you the best, whatever decision is made. I'm moving on, you know. Do you. I do me. I just really wish you the best, though, you know what I mean? And I did love you.